Yeah, hi all. Uh, am I audible clearly? Yes. Yes, and uh, hope, hopefully my screen is also viewable to you. Yeah. So yeah, so I am starting. Uh, so this course is basically regarding coding standard with PHP and uh, some tools, how we can improve our coding standard using those tools. So basically in this uh, session, we will cover only Sunan link in details. So next slide. Yeah. So first, let me introduce myself. So I am Prashun Das working in learning mid for almost seven years. During these days, I am worked on several projects and product, including Coart, Frost, and LOR, etc. for different clients like Pearson, Elsevier, Tata Macro Hill. So, and my pri primary skill sets are PHP and MySQL. I am thankful to get this opportunity to conduct this session with you all. Uh, this session is basically about what is coding standard, how should we follow, and uh, why we need to follow those coding standard. And, uh, Maybe some of you are aware of those tools, which I am going to cover in this session. But, uh, so that's all. Yeah. So next slide. Uh, topic actually contains the basic coding rules, guidelines, why you should follow the standard, uh, what should be the standards, various tools uh, uh, we can use, and Sonar link basically in details and some screenshot over there. To understand all the things also if time permits we can do some hands-on as well and the bibliography the resources from where i just build this ppt and then q a session uh, this is also if time permits then conclusion so first the basic coding rules and guidelines so coding rules and guidelines ensure that application software is uh, safe uh, secure, reliable, scalable, testable, maintainable, portable, like that. So, uh, so next slide that how should we maintain or what? Uh, so, what should be the basic rule we need to consider at the time of coding to maintain the scalability, maintainability, understanding of that code, or uh, how how we uh, the security of that code. So, there are some points we need to consider. As all of you may know all those things, but I am just trying to figure it out and listing those out. Like uh, there is some limited use of global variables, so we 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 can't use global variable each and every time. So uh, always we need to minify the global variable use, and also we need to use local variable instead of that. And next point is naming convention. As you all know, that local variable, global variable, anything like constant and functions, method in class, and in class itself, naming convention is a matter. So you need to keep in mind when you uh, creating any variable or any function, any method in class within class. So third one is the proper indentation of code, like. Uh, uh, so if you uh, no, if you do not maintain the proper indentation, then uh, maybe for other guys, whoever is working on that code, on that same file in future, he or she can't be able to understand this code clear, very clearly or it is not human readable uh, properly. So we need to properly indent, indent those codes as per our scope like that. And next for point is fourth point is error return values and exception handling means we have uh, error and uh, now we have exception we can handle those error as well using try catch or any kind of set handler like any kind of function custom function like that so we need to uh, uh, handle those error so we need to add exception handling in each and every method if possible so next is Avoid using a coding style that is too difficult to understand. Means too much nested structure, like too much nested if else, too much nested for loop. So those are very difficult to understand. So try to be simple at the time of coding. So next is avoid using same identifier for multiple purpose. Like uh, suppose there is uh, two variable if they are using for different purpose, then we should 
uh, put different name for those variable. We can't use the same name dollar a dollar a. Suppose suppose in one place dollar a is or using for another purpose and another place dollar a using for another purpose. So so we we have to change that second one so from dollar a to dollar b like that. So next slide. Uh, next point is the code should be properly commented for understanding easily. Commented means uh, not any, I am not talking about um, uh, commented all the codes which is not required. This is not uh, uh, suitable. We, we just need to delete those codes. But we can comment like dog block over any method like using dog block like uh, what is the method uh, functionality should be, what is the input parameter, what is the output parameter. So we can use dog block for that, but not commented all the code with, within the method or class, in between the method or class. If there is unnecessary code, you need to remove that code. But you can consider except dog block, those things. Uh, next is uh, length of function should be not, should not be very large. I mean, suppose your method or function has thousand lines of code. So you need to uh, split it out in maybe five function like 200 lines like that way. so you need to uh, split that things and not keep in mind that function is uh, going to the length of function is going to be very large so uh, now next one is minify the number of methods within a class if you are using any class then keep in mind that uh, in that class minimum uh, maximum 20 methods over there and all methods are really uh, uh, related method uh, so scalability is over there if you are using any class so always uh, consider those related method over there not the other method over there and also uh, keep in mind about the number of methods in this class like if you want 100 method then you have to split that class as well and make an inheritance and make some subclass and then you can do other stuff over there but not in the one in one class with uh, 100 method or like that so next slide is yeah so am i audible uh uh no, you, you are 100 percent audible okay loud and clear okay so next is why you should follow the standard uh because because consistent code quality uh because uh, uh compliance with industry standard because uh why you need to follow standard because in one industry or in any project or in any uh, uh, product there should be some industry standard like fixed standard like psr1 or psr2 so we have to follow those and uh, why this uh, industry standard should be followed because if we followed any one standard then all the coder all the developer whoever coding on that project or on that product they have to follow the same standard so the consistent of code quality is not compromised over there because all all the coders are following the same standard not uh, suppose one is following the psr1 one is following the psr2 so this this so the code become very much complex so we need to follow the same standard uh, within a project so next one is so for that consistent code quality also occur by that one and next software security so if you are using those things then software security also uh, be uh, not be compromised to some extent so next one is reduce development cost and accelerated time to market so development cost should be reduced because uh, we can reuse coding structure as well we can scale this code uh, with uh, uh, with that way yeah so next is as i said easy to read and understand so that's the main things. So if any other developer is working on the same file uh, in two years later or three years later in that legacy code, uh, he or she might not face any kind of trouble to debugging with such thing or to find out where he or she need to add their code. So next is various tools. So we have many of many of tools we can use, but uh, renowned tools we can use that like code sniffer or PHP code sniffer and sonar lint uh, in this core session i am not going to cover code sniffer uh, i am only cover sonar lint over here so next slide sonar lint in details 
So Sonalnet is a free and open source ID extension that identifies and helps in fix quality and security issues as you code. As you know, like a spell checker, Sonalnet so you can floss means in if you uh, as like spell checker if there is any spelling mistake in your word then there is one swiggle flaws occur under this word so like that way in the run time if you coding in your, in your id and there if there is sonali install over there then sonali automatically check that if there is any issue or violation of your rule then they add the swiggle flaws under that uh, terms and you can hover over there and then check what is the uh, violation of the rule over there. So also easy to use, no configuration needed, just install from your marketplace and uh, then continue uh, to work. So the link are available for all these things are in main uh, Sonalind website. So if you go to the Sonalind website, you can see the steps over there. How can you install those things from your ID marketplace? So nowadays, only ID support for Sonar Lint is Eclipse, JetBeans, uh, Visual Studio, and VS Code. Uh, also, uh, uh, some third-party plugin also available for some other ID like NetBeans, but uh, may th maybe they, those may not support all the features of Sonar Lint because those are third-party plugin. So uh, we can change the default rule and customize it as per our needs. Because there is some Sonalin that provides some default rule and over there. Uh, but we, if we want, we can change the default rule and customize it as per our need as well. Uh, so I am going to show you all the things in my next slides. So the documentation also how to, to customize your rules are easily available in the net. So you can check over there as well. So in this session, we are going to cover on the Sonalin implementation with VS Code. So in details in this session, so next slide. Yes, uh, in VS Code, uh, how do you find any issue, any tsunami rule and the description in detail? So first you need to go to the Explorer. Uh, uh, of, I, I will show you some screenshots capture after this slide. And also if you want, I can show you some hands-on over there, but it is the flow actually, basic flow. You have in the left side, if you are using VS, VS code, in the left side, there is Explorer over there. And under there, if you install Sonar Link, then there is Sonar Link rules over there. And over there, there is a three dot in the right side of Sonar Link rule. And if you click that three dot, there is a find rule by key text field will occur, occur uh, will appear. So you can, you just need to paste your uh, key, uh, rule key over there and if you hit the enter button of your keyboard, then the, all the details of these rules will appear in the right side of your ID. So how or how we get the key? So uh, if to, to get your key, you just need to hover your swiggle floss over your coding, and then uh, the tooltip okay, uh, uh, appear over there at the time of you hovering on, on that swiggle floss. So from there, you can copy the uh, ID, uh, copy the rule key from there and just paste over the text field by find rule by key. So then when you enter the uh, key, then description section is uh, appear over there. Uh, in the description section, uh, this part is, this section is include the heading, means the heading of this rule, what is the heading. Then the severity, severity like major, minor or critical like that the issue is. And then the description in details and also the parameter. Parameter means it is very important because uh, by default, there is some rule specified parameter and parameter uh, have some default values. Uh, but if you want to customize those rules, as I said in my earlier side, we can customize these rules. Then we need to just uh, customize the parameter only. Then we, by that way, we can customize our rule. So Parameter value can be set in the Sonar Link rule user settings. I will show you in the next slide how can you set uh, uh, how can you set these things. So in the next slide, uh, we can customize the Sonar Link rule. Like for that, we need to go to the settings and uh, from there you need to search Sonar Link and then user tab. You find you 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 can be able to find that Sonar Link colon rules over there 
and uh, under underneath there there's there should be a link called edit in session uh, settings.json and you have to click that link edit in settings json then one settings.json file will open uh, in your id that file is by default is blank first time there is nothing over there written and um, but if you need to uh, customize any rule then you have to write code only on that file so for that there is some coding example over there rule json as it is a json file we have to follow the json structure to customize the rule so first of this uh, first things is we need to add sonarming.rules and then under that we need to add the uh, rule key rule key means there is a property as a plot of, uh, uh, for property like that way like repo colon key repo means php because sonarling supports php python c c++ many language so but now we are just considering php so we need to put as a repo the language of language so the php and then colon the key of that specific rule so the key is is 1448 for this example so this is the uh, format repo colon key then under that you have to there is two parameter one is level one is parameters level value is on or off if you uh, want to off any rule or disable any if you want to disable any deactive or disable any rule you just need to write level off over there and if you want to enable any rule then you have to just put level on over there then the parameters in parameters as i said you just need to customize all the things like uh, in this example there is maximum method threshold so if you want to this rule is basically for uh, one class how much uh, one class how, uh, content how many methods means if the maximum method threshold is 100 over here then if the in your code in your class there is 101 method then the rule is violated so if you want to customize this if you don't want that 100 should be the maximum value if you want 1000 should be the maximum value if you want consider that how we can add 1000 method in our class and there is no violation of the rule then you can customize the the parameter uh, from 100 to 1000 like that one. so next slide there is some screenshot that uh, this one is issue type is critical and uh, so if you hover over the race dot error line number 92 so you can check that there is swigel floss under race dot error so if you hover over there there is the description uh, the heading over there and the uh, rule key is also added over there so you just need to copy that rule rule key and then uh, in the left side go to the explorer then under sonar linked rules then under three dot over there uh in the in the screen there is not these things over here but i can show you in hands on so in, if you click sonar link rules three dot there is one text field appear you just put uh, need to put that php colon s1192 and then hit enter then after hit, hitting enter the right side sonar link rule description will appear so this is the description of uh, the rule whole rule so there is heading there is severity there is description over there and some other parameters and all the steps over there so this is one critical issue as you uh, see that in this screenshot next thing is this this is another issue which is major type so uh, that said that remove the commented out code means not doc block as i said in earlier year but uh, if any any kind of uh, uh, not utilized code over there as a commented then we have to remove those so this is actually rule number is is 125 so but we can't customize this rule because there is no parameter we just need we need to off or on this rule like label on or label off because there is no parameter we can't customize this so we just need to on we can just need um we can just on or off this level for this rule so this is one third one is the uh, issue type major so here you can see that when i uh, hovering this save toc content method there is see that this you have 295 lines in that method but uh, only 150 lines authorized as per the rules so but i want uh, it is max uh, it is more than uh, 295 uh, and i want that uh, safe toc content should not violate the rule so for that i need to first customize that rule the same rule rule id is as you see in the uh, tooltip the php colon is 138 
So I need to go to the same process like Explorer, Sonalin, Roll, Three Dot, hit at uh, index field, paste the key, and then hit the enter key. Then the Sonalin descript rule description will appear, as you see over here. In the description, you see that there is one parameter over here, max. So max parameter is authorized line of code. Default value is 150 right now. So we have we need to change that parameter. If we change that parameter, then the current value should be changed. Like if you change the parameter to 1000 or anything, then the current value should be 1000 and the default value should be 150. But if the current value 1000, then as my method is 295 lines, then this wiggle flow will disappear and this method is not violate the rule. So how can we customize this? In the next slide, if you see that in my settings.json, in the previous slide, you can see that the settings.json is blank. So first, the settings.json is blank, will blank. But if you customize, then you need to add your rule. So as I said earlier, the first you need to follow the format. So sooner link loan, sooner link rules, then uh, the uh, key of that rule, repo colon key, like that format. Repo means language. So PHP colon git ID, ID is the S138. Then the label should be on or off. Then the parameter. So parameter, I just max, made it max from 150 to 1000. So I make it 1000 over here. So as I make it 1000 over here, so you can see that after changing and after saving that page, automatically the save TOC content swigger flow is disappeared. So in the previous slide, if you see that the save TOC content in 1594 line, there is one issue. But the same things when I customize the things, 1594, the issue is swigger flow is gone from under under this safety TOC content. So that's like a, I, we can customize our rules. The next thing so this one is one type of uh, issue type, which is uh, minor severity. So unused local variables should be removed. Suppose we have one variable I declare, but this variable is not used anywhere. So it should be removed those variables. So this is another kind of uh, rule. There is many rule, as you say, see in the right uh, left side of the sonar link rule. There are too many rules, but I am just showing you a few of them. So next slide. Uh, default rule, this is uh, this is also issue type major. So what is this rule? As you uh, see that in line number 84, uh, under class, there is wiggle flows. And when I hover over there, there is a tooltip occur, and they said that class TOC controller has 101 methods which is greater than 20 authorized. So split it into smaller classes, all like that way. But, or you can just customize your rule as well, and then you, you, uh, this uh, swiggle flow should disappear after that. So how can you customize that if you want? So for that, Sonar link, uh, as I said earlier, you need to go, go through the same steps, and then you just see this description over here. And over here, you can see that parameter, two parameter over there. So, here one is one parameter is maximum method threshold. So the default value is 20 right now. So if you want, we can change this from 20 to 200 or anything, then the violation should be disappeared. So how we can uh, change this or customize these things? In next slide, you can see that in settings.json, I just uh, put this, put the same uh, key over there and then label on and the parameter maximum method threshold I converted from 20 to 200. And then if you see on the code in the 84 line, under class, there is no swiggle flows over there. So violation will disappear over there after customization. So like that way, we can customize our uh, rules and uh, based on our standard, predefined standards set by our project management or our industry, we can customize our rule as well and then uh, uh, Using that same settings on JSON, if you pass this same settings just JSON to all the developer in our project or any product, and they they, they have to use the same settings dot JSON, then uh, the code consistency over there. So if you if you, all the people, uh, developer follow the same rule, so like that, we, we can uh, we, we can uh, build our coding standard in better. Next is hands on, so. Uh, hands on if you want I can see show you some hands on uh, so uh, anybody want any hands on then I can show you uh, hello 
Hello. Yes, yes, no son. Yes, no son. You can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So uh, yeah. So this is VS Code as you see over there, and then you can see that in the 84 number line class there is no swing and floss as of now. So uh, because because if you see that in the description, first I need to copy that one the issue number, and then under Explorer there is Tonal link and there is three dot over here. Find rule by key. Enter. This rule is over here. Double click over there. And then Sonal link rule description over here. You can see that maximum method threshold now it is 200 and default value is 20. So as my as in my slide, you can see that the class considered 101 method. So which is lesser than 200. So the violation is not there. But if I change it to default value, like 20, so it will be a reappear again. So how can we customize or how can we change it to uh, the default value, change back to default value? So for that, I just need to change it from 200 to 20. And this need to save over there. Then automatically, you can see after 20 or 30 seconds, this will be appear over again. Yes, you can see that the cl under class, there will be this wiggle floss. And they said that TOC controller has 100 method, which is greater than 20, because I authorize 20 only. So like that way, you can uh, customize your method. If you want, I can show you another one. So as you see, the set TOC content, there is no swiggle floss. So because the line number of this method is 295, but I maximize it to 1000. So first of all, I need to search what is the default value. So first, just click here. Enter. Enter here. The default value is 150, and I change it to current value 1000. So I can revert back it to 150. How can? So I just need to put over here, or I can delete this same as well. Delete the full file. So max 150, and if you check over here after 20 seconds or 10 seconds. It will be changed. Yes, you can see that the safe TOC content uh, swig and flow is flow is reappear again. And uh, there is intuitive says that uh, you have 295 lines, which is greater than 150 line authorized, as I said over here, as I mentioned over here. So, like that way, you can customize our rules from here. So, uh, so the hands on is done. Uh, so, next is this is the bibliography uh, from where we uh, I take the reference to build this PPT. So all the links over here and also a few other links over here like uh, regarding PHP code sniffer. If you want to uh, add PHP code sniffer in your code, how to how do you uh, check your verify your code using PHP CS, how to beautify your code using PHP CBF command. So all those things are over there. You can she can uh, go through with that as well. Yeah. So next is Q and A round. If anyone want any kind of, if you have any kind of question and answer, I just opening this uh, uh, Q and A round things. So yeah. So you can ask uh, me. If I am not able to answer this question, maybe someone expertise more than me over this call. So from the audience, so they can answer this as well. So if anyone want any question, have any questions, then they can ask. Hello. Yeah, hi, Prasun. Good morning. Gopi here. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Good afternoon. Gopi here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Prasun, what I'm asking, is there any standard rules for the customizations or uh, we can do the customizations as per our local? Because no, but, yeah, standard rule means you have to set means not you, your company or your project management or your technical architect have to set some coding standard, uh, coding rule guidelines and following that you need to customize your rule. If they no. suppose you, if they said that 20 methods should be the standard maximum in your class. Then we have to follow this. If they said this 200 method should be the your threshold, maximum threshold of your uh, uh, method in, within a class, then, then you have to follow that. But in your project, 
all the developer have to follow the same rules not yes. a, if you okay. if you follow in if you are uh, creating a class and in that class you just write 100 method and so you know, you can't follow you follow your method only but not industry's method and other people creating one class and then he's create he follow industry method so there is 20 method so there is some discrepancies over there consistency not there consistently break over there so coding yes, standard also break so like that we if we maintain any specific standard then the coding consistency will be there so that's the main things yeah okay thank you thank you professor. yeah okay okay so yeah person yeah. person is there any any report uh generated from this uh, vs code so we can uh, track the all the data or report in accumulated into the one page i think uh i am not sure uh maybe not uh i'm not sure how can i generate the report from here maybe not but i need to check if it is a very good question yeah, I, I need to check uh, if we can I'm, generate I'm any kind of report. yeah i am also same thinking like uh, there is a lots of uh plugins is there so we need to check uh is there any uh, any kind of report we can generate into the uh, one skin or dashboard so we can fix uh, throughout the project easily uh, yes, step yes, by yes. step or one by one uh, yes, just like you said like yeah, sonar okay. cube as sonar cube yeah, 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 yes. like that yeah okay. yeah i i need to change and and, 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 and rules which you are in the implement the sonar limb so it is follow the uh, like uh, standard each and every uh, PHP have the standard like PSR2. So the uh, so these Sonar Lint are uh, follow the PSR2 rules. No, actually Sonar Lint have no uh, loosely type guideline because you you can customize to some to any extent. So as you see that you can see that the, you can customize it from the 150 to 1000 or any kind of. But if you want to follow the same standard any specific standard like PSS2 standard, then I think it is better to use code snippet tool than Sonar Lint. Because Sonar Lint have loosely type rule standard, if they, if you can customize the rule. But if you use code snippet tool and you can mention the standard over there at, at the time of PHP CS commanding the verify the code, then PH, I think uh, your answer, if you want that kind of way, so you should use PHP code snippet tool. Uh, not this one only. So, yes. hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Um, are you okay? Hello. Anything else? Uh, we have already passed four minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, Prasun. Prasun, you can also uh, like check the PHP CS fixer. So that will follow the PSR two rules okay 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 yeah yeah now we are using actually no, no one tool. thing uh, one thing you which you have uh tell us uh in today's call it's very helpful to in future to uh implement in our project uh we we understand all the things it's, it's very good uh you have given the uh example and training it's it's very good commendable yeah thank you uh Prasan, this is surya here actually you are talking about the sonar lint rules now so that the level will be you should tell of that is on or off what if yes. we, what if i just off means the rule is not applicable in my sonar line local sonar yes. Line, is it? yes 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 it is it's, it will be disabled, okay, it, will be disabled. Will, okay it, will be, it will be taken as a default value or something other than like no it, the rule is disabled if you, i can say, show you if you see my screen that yeah, yeah, just agree. now now it is that you can see that this is the uh what is 138 this one is still, yes. yeah, one three eight. Three. So, if I off that rule, just not changing any parameter, not doing any kind okay. of thing, just off these things, then what? Just wait 10 seconds, okay. Yes, you can see this figure flows as gold. So, okay. off means, as I say, comment over there, off means when set is off, disable the rule, when set to okay. on, enable the rule. So you can uh, see over here as well, there is some filter active, all inactive. So if you click active, all those active rule are over there. If you click all, all are over there. If you click inactive, then only the inactive over there. If you click over here, then you can search from here. And if you minify over there, you can see that 
there is many other repo over here as well like as i said c c++ html java javascript python so those are also supported by sonar lib but we are only using php so we are using php for that so key should be php colon if you are using python coding standard then key should be python colon and that particular issue issue id so so that's the uh, funda there's the uh, format for this okay. which means uh, whenever we are using the rule we must enable in our sonar lint uh, json file right person yes 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 yeah no Thank by you. default by default few rules are already active by default okay. already enabled but if you want anything not enabled yet but you need to enable it then you have to customize that rule and in this sonar lint json file uh, settings of json file you have to put the level on for that rule uh, which means each and every rules will have a, a unique identifier, right? Uh, yes, 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 each and every rules. If you click over here, the, the IDs, uh, the IDs, uh, 2010. If yeah. you click over here, the IDs, 1990. So each and every one is unique identifier. If you click over there, the ID is 1301. So like that. So each and every one is the another uh, uh, different uh, key. So it is like you uh, previously stated that is a loosely coupled one by but we can able to make a strict complete uh, strict uh, uh, compatibility with our code standard by enable all the rules in our local right yes 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 yeah but but as i said sonar link does not follow any rule because in postify you just only need to mention the standard equals to psr2 or standard equals to psr1 but sonar link there is no facility you uh, because you have to manually define which should be the your pss2 there is no standard uh, yes. in se setting in the sonar lint how the pss2 or psr1 but in, if you use in code snippet tool then just you need to put the standard as pss2 then all the things will be done by so php snippet itself so this is the basic difference in sonar lint and php snippet okay prasun thank you thank you so much for uh, prasun uh, prasun uh, uh, prasun um, can you please tell me actually when I uh, went to download, I mean, to install Sonar Link, I found that uh, three different publishers are uh, giving Sonar Link. So, which one to select? Can you please? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, just a minute. I'm just, uh, just click on the Sonar Link. I am doing the same, I am following the same steps, what I am seeing to it. So, into it. So, over there, as I using in VS Code, so just click on the VS Code. Here is one ID workspace. If you click on the install for free, there is ID work, workspace for the specific Visual Studio. So you just need to install. There is only one link. There is no three link. So you just need to install over there, and then all the things is automatically installed in your Visual Studio. But but if the Visual code is okay. not installed yet, so first you need to install the Visual code. Then after that you need to click this install because. Uh, it is it is actually installed on the as a plugin in your visual code so first you have to install the visual code then you can click on the install button over here like that. actually before this and before it installed again to the vs code i also have installed it explicitly but that definitely requires lots of efforts to do yeah so i would go with person suggestion to go with uh, the visual studio code installation because if you install it explicitly then you have to run the server of sonar lint and lots of things are yet to do yes uh, Prasun, uh, okay. yeah. can you please uh, uh, tell me how to open uh, setting dot file again yes 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 yeah 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 just a minute i closing all the things yeah just opening the the explorer is there and the code is there i just need mm -hmm. to there is settings it is only for vs code Maybe for NetBeans, it is another from another uh, place. Maybe for J, uh, uh, another uh, Visual Studio. Maybe for uh, for NetBeans, it's also available. For NetBeans, yes, 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 it's, it's, uh, it's also available. It's also available, but it is not. Uh, for, you cannot find this from the Sonarlink website itself. You have to go to the third-party uh, provider. So just click on the settings. Here is the settings. Okay. Here you have to search sonar lint. Then you have sonar, then you have user tab over there, then you have sonar lint rules over there, then you have editing settings listen over there. You know, just need to click over there and this you can okay. So this. uh this file will be uh save as the outside of the project, like right? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
so uh, so i think uh, that's all uh, my last slide is i want to conclude this session one second by saying a big thank you uh, it's a lovely to uh, conduct such a uh, small and uh, commentable session with you guys mm -hmm. and uh, thank you from my bottom yeah that's all so i am stopping this uh, stop sharing my screen that's all um, uh, obviously many many thanks for this uh, session i'm having another question regarding the solar cube so what are the difference between solar link and solar cube can you please tell me solar link basically used for a uh, code st coding standard to maintain the yeah, coding, coding standard, standard. Right. Yes. Code security uh, and code quality we are maintaining by using the sonar net, right? Yes, yes. And for sonar cube, you just need to code coverage to check the code coverage. If you're using PHP unit, then you have to check. Uh, you, you can generate code coverage from there and you have to put that using sonar cube as well. So it is not runtime. So, but sonar lint, you, you do it in at the time of your coding. So it, it will be generated in runtime as like spell checker. But sonar cube, not work like that only. yes okay thank you so uh that's all priya are you there yes personal yes, yes. 